This is the view from Main Street Businesses in New Albany. They've been looking at this view for about a year now. The south side of Main Street Revitalization Project is complete, but work has just begun over on the north side. Downtown businesses were offered zero interest loans, up to $25,000 in January, but many of them were unhappy with the terms, saying it's not enough to keep them afloat while customers can't reach their front doors. As those businesses continue to struggle, the city has agreed to give a developer $3.3 million in tax breaks for a new hotel. Uh, Travis Breeze is spoke, uh, talking to one city council member who feels that they're setting a bad precedent. Main Street has been a sandbox for about a year now. The city did pipe work last May and then transitioned into the Main Street Revitalization Project in September. We really didn't have a, uh, have a choice. Todd Coleman owns Classic Furniture and Sleep World at the corner of Pearl and Main. When the trucks came in, he made his showroom appointment only and opened a third location in Jeffersonville. They would call us and wouldn't be able to navigate their way around the construction sites. He saw when the city and county offered loans up to $25,000 for struggling businesses, but he says with an operation like his, it wasn't enough to make a difference. I don't feel like the uh, city council or the uh, mayor has put forth their best foot to help the uh, businesses in downtown. I think there should have been other avenues of help. For a lot of these business owners, the thought of taking on more debt is just something that they they can't afford. Josh Turner is on the city council. He wanted to explore using pandemic relief money to help, but he was told it was too risky from a legal perspective. On May 1st, the city created a new tax increment finance district to help developers revitalize the Ellsby building into an 82 room hotel. The city will pay $3.3 million in bonds. Turner voted against this. About 100 yards away from the construction, he thinks it's a bad look for the city. You know, I just think we're setting a bad precedent to cut out a TIF and, and give, you know, preferential tr treatment to certain developers. Uh, while these Main Street businesses are, are, are suffering. The mayor's office didn't respond to our questions about the hotel or construction before deadline. The total budget for the Ellsby Hotel renovation is $29 million. Construction is supposed to start in late spring of this year. A press release from the developers on May 1st said that it will create 100 new jobs. In New Albany, Travis Breeze, WHAS 11, on your side. The city didn't reply to us today. Business owners have been told the construction will be done in October, right before Harvest Homecoming.